Hi Cancer, welcome. It's Sandra here from Wolf Moon Tarot. Um, this is your energy reading from the 5th to the 11th of July 2021 um, or thereabouts. Uh, it could resonate a little bit beyond those times due to the f uh, universal energies being fluid as they are and the universal timing being, being very fluid. Um, but anyway, I've pre-shuffled your cards, Cancer, to get your energy into the cards. So um, before I start, just to say it's a general reading, so um, take what resonates with you, but anything that doesn't, leave that behind or for somebody else, because, you know, it is, it's a general reading. All right, Cancer, I'll just do a final shuffle now of the Tarot of Dreams and just see what your um, guides, your energies want to say to you at this time. So we have the heart of your reading here, what's on your mind at the moment, the root of the matter, past influences, the future going forward, and then something else that your guides would like to say to you at this time. And at the bottom of the deck we have the Palace of Cups, so this is the home environment to do with um, family, love, relationships, um, emotions, anything that's meaningful for your heart. So I'll just put that to one side. And then a final shuffle of the Lightseer's Tarot. Um, at the bottom of the deck we have the Six of Cups here and this is thinking about um, family, friends, people, people who have been very closely connected to you for a long time. Um, so, you know, it, it can be a card of nostalgia um, or it can be just thinking about somebody, um, the connectivity with somebody, um, you know, perhaps coming together with family and friends soon. Um, but let's see. But it's certainly something to do with um, family or friends, acquaintances over a long period of time and quite possibly um, within this um, Palace of Cups environment. So at the heart of your reading, Cancer, we have the Tower um, and we have Temperance. So the tower this is um when a sudden revelation comes in now it could be that you're already aware of what this is because it's right at the heart of your reading so i'm gauging that you'll perhaps know what this tower is um cancer whoever this is for the tower this is a tower we build many towers in our lifetimes um to do with different situations different circumstances different timelines um, sometimes, though, a tower can be built um, on faulty foundations, which causes it to crumble, um, met metaphorically speaking. Um, and those, this is what's happened here. So the bolt of lightning has come down. The universe decided that this particular tower, in whatever connection it's to do with for you, Cancer, needed to come down. It had, it had served its purpose and it needed to come down. So. It can come in the form of finding some information out about something or a happening or an event um, that came out of the blue, that came as, um, could be a shock or a, or a surprise. But it wasn't expected. Um, in its purest sense, it wasn't expected. Now, the temperance, um, so this is about achieving balance. Achieving balance, having patience and moderation so I feel whatever this tower was, um, it's created an energy within you, I feel, of needing to have um, patience. I feel the tower is brought in a, a sense of balance where there perhaps has been imbalance in the past. So the, this revelation or whatever it is, is something being raised to the ground in your life, uh, some area cancer, um, has perhaps actually brought in a level of balance for you. Um, but there's also, it's a need for patience as well here and moderation. So 
let's see where this is going. So what are your thoughts at the moment? Well, we have Justice and the Nine of Pentacles. And Justice is, as it says on the tin, a need for justice or justice being seen to be served. So we can see all the, the dark clouds in the background here. So there's been some form of a negativity or an injustice in the past. Um, and it was a need and the scales would have been um, unbalanced, uh, a lack of equality, a lack of fairness. But what you're thinking about is a, a need for justice or justice being served now. And perhaps that's come in as a result of the tower moment. The clarifier is the Nine of Pentacles, and this is the independent person, the person who makes her own decisions or his own decisions, has the pick of the crop, um, works hard uh, for what they have. Um, and this could be representing yourself, Cancer, and there's a need for fairness and justice um, within this situation. Or there is, or that has happened already, because this... As I said, this is on your mind at the moment. So at the root at the root of this situation, we have the Knight of Coins and the Eight of Swords. The Knight of Coins, the Knights uh, always deliver action. Um, the Knight of Coins is the slowest knight in the Minor Arcana. Um, so because this is at the root of the situation, this has already uh, sort of been in place. But the Knight of Coins um, delivers very slowly, but delivers something solid gold. So when he gets to you, it's a solid offer. It's a solid opportunity, or it's a solid action, or a solid message. Um, so we have the Knight of Coins coming in slowly. Um, at, the, at the root of this situation, something was delivered slowly. And the clarifier is the Eight of Swords, and this is feeling stuck, mentally stuck within a situation, can't think of a way out. Um, feeling mental torment to do with this situation. Um, but there's a, li there's a little bit of an energy here of um, staying stuck, knowing, knowing that you could find a way out of a situation, but choosing to stay um, for whatever reason. Um, and that was to do with something coming in slowly. And, you know, I'm just wondering whether whatever it was that was coming in slowly, that you were aware that was giving you mental torment, led to the tower moment. So let's see. Uh, in the past, the past energies, we have the fool and judgment. Yeah, so these are very, very um, powerful energies here. These are all major arcana energies. Uh, the fool and judgment are major arcana. Um, we had the tower and the temperance, which are major arcanas. The justice card is a major arcana. So these are big energies, Cancer, for whoever this is for. So in the past... We had the fall energy. This was um, a new beginning, um, somebody taking the leap of faith, a new beginning of some sort. Um, the clarifier is judgment, and it was a time of rebirth, a time of rebirth, of um, standing up to be counted, if you like, learning from the past, what went well, what didn't go well in the past, and, and trying to... Um, not take any negativity forward in this new beginning, this rebirth. And so these are the past energies here for whoever this is for, Cancer. Okay, going forward, we have the Three of Cups, which has come out quite a bit for the different readings I've been doing. So the Three of Cups and the King of Cups. The Three of Cups in its purest sense, and I will give the two different, for me, the two different meanings of, of the Three of Cups. So, in its purest sense, the Three of Cups is about celebration, achievement, success, victory, but coming together with others to celebrate. Um, and if that's the case, then we've got a King of Cups energy here. And uh, this is very much a Pisces energy. He has the fish pendant round his neck. This is somebody that... Um, it's, you know, it's not gender specific, but obviously it's a male representation here. Um, somebody that's very um, grounded, very comfortable um, in his own skin. 
um, very much in control of his emotions. Um, he knows what to do to make his heart sing. Um, a very meditative energy, he can appear switched off up to a point. Um, it's a very nurturing, caring energy also, uh, very intellectual. Connects his mind um, with his emotions, with his heart. So they're the, all the energies of the King of Cups. Now, you know, sometimes the King of Cups comes forward as a representative of yourself, Cancer, um, as, as a water energy. So it could, this could be representing yourself, Cancer. Um, very spiritual, nurturing energy. Um, you know, having lots to celebrate going forward. Celebrating with others, coming together with family and friends, perhaps. And which was why, where the um, Six of Cups may come in. Yeah, celebrating with family and friends. Um, you know, within this uh, home environment to do with love and relationships. But um, the other meaning for me of the Three of Cups is about third party interference. And third party interference can be another person um, interfering, getting in the way of a relationship. It can be an illness that gets that interferes with the smooth running um, of a relationship. Um, it can also mean somebody who has addictions and obsessions, temptations that are happening within a relationship. Um, and that could be connected with yourself. Um, or somebody somebody else connected to you, Cancer. So they're just some of the different meanings here for going forward. Because it'll have a different meaning for all of you. But they're the general energies, Cancer. Now, what is it your guides would like to say to you? Well, we have the Empress and we have the Eight of Pentacles. So the guidance for you, um, Cancer, is the, the Empress, the Empress um, this is about um, abundance, um, opportunity, new beginnings, fertility, uh, creativity, opportunity, there is all those beautiful energies, a very feminine energy, although it's not gender specific, but you can see it's very much about abundance and new beginnings very much um, about nature as well and evolution. Um, in this particular depiction, the Empress has actually given birth. Normally she's very heavily pregnant because of her fertility, metaphorically speaking. Um, but in this depiction, she's given birth. So for me, this is about um, a new creative endeavor, a new creative idea, a new beginning of some sort that's still very much in its early stages um, that's been given birth to but still needs looking after and nurturing is still very vulnerable um, and the clarifier the eight of pentacles yeah this is working very hard um, it can be called the apprenticeship card so learning learning on the job if you like um, learning on your feet thinking on your feet burning the candle at both ends juggling lots of things in the air at the same time working very hard and being very focused to keep the cogs going um, and and that is to do with whatever this um, creative new endeavor is to do with uh, whatever it means for you cancer for some of you this may be representing the actual birth um, of a baby Um, I'm just going to get some more information about the Three of Cups and the King of Cups going forward. So could we have some more information about the Three of Cups and the King of Cups going forward please? Three of Cups for Cancer. For Cancer on the for the fifth to the eleventh of July, twenty twenty one.
Three of Cups and the King of Cups going forward, please. Two more, please. Two more. So connected to the Three of Cups, um, we have the Six of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles. Um, so the Six of Pentacles, this is about um, sharing, giving un unconditionally, um, sharing what you have plenty of um, with um, others um, who perhaps don't have the same um, amount. So this is giving. Sometimes it's um, giving um, a little bit of what you have. Um, but whatever it is, so it's still growing. Something is still growing and maturing here. Um, so it's not quite the right time to um, to harvest what it is that, that's growing that, that you've been working on and developing. Um, so if something is still growing um, and it's to do with um, sharing, equal share, sharing unconditionally. Um, and then, as I say, with the Three of Cups, it's either celebrating that, celebrating the success um, with others of something that, that is, is still growing and, and being able to share um, okay. So, connect to the King of Cups. We have the King of Swords and the Two of Pentacles. So, uh, the King of Cups, very much to do with the heart and um, what, you know, offering what can make your heart sing, what makes his heart sing. But we've also got the King of Swords. So, this would suggest to me that this King of Cups is a bit of a strategist. Um, yes, he is in touch with his heart centre and he, he offers um, thing, something that's meaningful for your heart, perhaps. But it, he's very logical in his thinking. He's a very much a strategist. Um, he works from his, from his mind centre as well. So, um, very pragmatic in his, in his thinking. Um, doesn't suffer fools gladly I don't feel with this particular king of swords he has his sword at the ready you see to cut away that which doesn't serve him so I, I mean I'm just wondering whether we've got a, um, a sheep in wool uh, a wolf in sheep's clothing here um, that's just for some of you but then we've got the two of pentacles and this is something is, is balanced a bit precarious so we have the seesaw balanced precariously on the peach stone um, and we have the boy and the girl with their pentacles showing what they have going up and down. Um, so there's a bit of an imbalance, there's an imbalance here and whatever it is, it's in a precar precarious situation, there's an imbalance. Right, I'm going to get some more information about the Tower and Temperance, please. So could we have some information about the Tower and Temperance at the heart of the reading? Right, 
two more please. Okay, so connected to the Tower energy, we have the Nine of Swords and the Devil energy here. Uh, the Nine of Swords is fear-based thoughts, so thoughts that have been exaggerated in our mind, um, going over and over in our mind, keeping us awake at night, that sort of an energy. Um, and yes, so obsessing, so the, uh, the Devil energy is ob obsessive energy, addictive, obsessive energy, um, consumed with the situation, whatever this situation is. Um, so the fear-based thoughts that have been magnified to do with this um, obsessive energy um, and that's what's brought, I feel that's what's brought the tower down. That's what's created this tower situation. And then um, connected to the temperance, which is about a balance, need for balance, um, we have the hanged man and the four of swords. So these are very two very frozen energies, if you like. Um, so as a result of the tower, tower moment, um, the tower energy, um, yes, it's about now a need, a need for things to slow down to achieve some balance here. Um, because there's a limited, somebody has a limited perspective on something and feels quite frozen, quite stuck in the situation. Um, and yes, the same with the Four of Swords. Um, this is about taking time out, having a break, having a rest. Um, to, to build up your energies again, to build up your mental energies and your emotional and your physical energies. Um, you need a break, need a rest. to achieve some balance now as a result of whatever it was and it's something different for all of you to do with this tower energy and um, you know for some of you this could have been about a third party situation that brought the tower down um, that somebody shared so going forward you see we have the three of cups don't we so for some of you, it could be a um, continuation of this third party situation. Um, and somebody, somebody may actually uh, be giving you a token gesture, giving you crumbs at the moment, keep things going, and because something is still growing and maturing. But that's just for some of you, not for everybody. For others, it's about celebration. But of course, you know, we do have the two kings, the strategist, the king of swords alongside the king of cups. So how somebody's presenting may not actually be what they are. Um, and because there's an imbalance there between these two kings, there's an imbalance, things aren't right. So let me just get two final messages now. I have two final messages now for cancer, please. Two final messages. What else does Cancer need to know concerning this reading? So we have passion and pleasure, so savour your life and then choose your path. All is possible. So passion and pleasure, this is letting your hair down and celebrating, dancing round the campfire by the light of the moon, getting ready to go off on your journeys, there's the caravan there. Savour your life, enjoy life. And that's the message of this card, is to enjoy life. 
Um, but, but then choose your path. So all is possible. So you've got lots of options in front of you, Cancer. You choose the path that you want to walk. All right. You choose the direction you want to go in. It's because all is possible now. Beautiful. Lovely energies to finish with there. All right, Cancer. I hope this reading has been useful and informative for you. Um, and hoping it offered a little bit of support to you also. But um, good luck going forward and I hope you can join me again in the future. Bye-bye so for now.